Hey everybody, what's going on? Sean here. And today I want to talk about a question that came up in a community that I'm part of. Okay. And so the question was, uh, in system.io, how do you, uh, create partial access to certain members? So you might have VIP members and then you might have a general membership. And of course you want the VIP members to get all access. And then you want the general members just to get certain things. And the th question is, how do you do that? So let's jump over to system.io and let me walk you through exactly how you're going to uh, skin this cat. All right. So we go into our main dashboard, obviously, and then we're going to go to our websites. We're going to go into sales funnels. I'm going to open up our sales funnel in question. And what you want to do is you want to go and it's going to be done through an order form. All right. And then, uh, in that order form, you're going to create a price list. All right. So you're going to have a price list for the VIP member that's going to give them everything. And then you're going to have a separate price list for general members that's going to have just what they get okay the, the partial access is going to be set up to give them just what they get and then if you wanted to you could have a third group and you could give them partial access to separate things as well all right so um we're just going to go in here real quick and um grab this one here uh that's a thank you page all right we'll do uh this page here doesn't matter which uh, page, but what we don't want to do is uh, rename this instead of mini core, or uh, I'm sorry, instead of video digital product order, we would say uh, VIP membership. All right. And then you would go and you would click on digital product, and then you want to create a digital product. So you're going to click on the add button. And then in here is where you would go VIP membership. Okay. Now, this is where you set up as far as the access goes, all right? And you give them, you go into the resources, like what resources are we gonna give them? And again, in regards to a course, what kind of access are we gonna give them? All right, so we go in here, click on the button, use the drop down. we're gonna select courses, which course, you go and you grab whatever course you've got set up or courses, all right? Choose access type, all right? So we're gonna give these guys full access, all right? Now, the next thing you're going to do is if you have a paid uh, system.io plan, you can have more than one tag. Um, giving them a tag here, if you have a free version, really doesn't make sense. You're just going to use one tag for everybody, so it's not a big deal. So you wouldn't use that here. But if you have a paid plan, this is where you could go. then go and say, okay, add another resource. This time, we're going to add a tag, and then you would say VIP member. All right, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, but you could also at this point say, I want to give them access to a community. All right. So VIP members get access to the community. And so you would use this uh, plus button again to add a resource. And then you would go to your communities. You would select the community and then you would select the appropriate community. Again, free version only gives you one community. So your VIP members would get access to the community. Other members wouldn't. Um, if you have a paid system.io account, then you could have other uh, communities and then you could have a VIP community and then a general membership community. And that's this is where you would select all that. All right. So now let's back all the way up here and I'm going to delete everything. And now let's walk through this as if we're going to create our general membership that's going to only give partial access. So again, you want to make sure you have a digital product. Then you're going to go and click on the add button to add a digital product. And here the digital product name, once again, you would have something like general membership. All right. And then here we're going to go ahead and again, we're going to use the add button to add a resource. And then at that point we would say, okay, we're going to add a course. But this time when we go into our select our course, we're going to say partial access. This particular course only has two modules right now, but all the modules that you have in a course will show up here and you would literally just check on each module that you want them to have access to. Anything that's not checked, they're not going to have access to it. All right. And so this is a way of really uh, controlling what a general member can see. All right. And so a course area is, um, you know, it doesn't have to be just a course, you know, it could be assets, it could be templates, you could have a module of templates, and VIP members get those templates, general memberships don't. Uh, zeroed income, we have a free toolbox, we're getting ready to create a premium toolbox, we could have another page in the course or another module in the course that is the uh, premium toolbox. And again, obviously, VIP members would get access to that general members would not. 
right? Okay, so that's how you would break this down and have different levels of access for different groups. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you're liking these videos, we do have a whole bunch of system.io videos in our system.io playlist. Go check it out. Thanks for watching.